and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Selesnia Stompy. So this looks like a pretty sweet deck here. This is a donation deck. That's what the two Ds mean next to these decks over here. So this was a viewer submitted deck that looks pretty good. Like this, this uh, is a very similar build to the Golgari Stompy deck that I have that I've been having some good success with here that's also you know kind of vivian tribal over here but we're going green white instead of green black because white gives us settle the wreckage which honestly i'm i'm liking these three sell the wreckages here in the main deck nobody's going to play around this card in main deck and we have some good flash game here with not only with our night pack ambusher that we can be able to have to kind of go along with our settle but vivian champion of the wilds giving all of our creatures flash means that we do actually get to play kind of an instant speed game here with all of our creatures, and we're just going to blow some people out with this Elder Wreckage, I feel like. Um, instead of playing 25 lands, we got 24 lands and a flower, and I like that. I like how you know we can use the flower as an extra white source if we really need it, or it can co come through later on in the game with the Flourish. I think that's a, a nice 25th land for us. Um, we have the One Pelt Collector in here, which is also which also I'm just fine with. It's not like we really, like, I don't think we really need like four Pelt Collectors. It's not something we want to draw late very often, but it just gives us a fifth one drop to be playing. Uh, you know, of course we have the, the flower also, but it gives us a fifth one drop and uh, it, it's an easy card to, to curve out. It's, it's a card that's not a bad hit with like Champion of Wilds of like double spelling later on and everything. I, I like having like that one Pelt Collector. I think that's a pretty, pretty good option. And I'll be interested to, to see how we do with Bark Hide Troll. So, you know, we're, we're going with the Bark Hide Trolls and the Crowl Harpooners instead of Growth Chamber Guardians. Um, I have not played any Bark Hide Trolls yet, so they could, this will be a good um, good test of the card. I'm That's one thing that I always like. I always like whenever we have donation decks that have different options than, like, my normal options. So I can kind of test them out and really see if I like them. <clears throat> For example, last... Lastly, with the Orzhov deck, we had the Vampire of the Dire Moon. I don't even know if that's the right name. That's probably not. But the one mana, one, one death touch lifelink creature. And I was really impressed with the card. And I'm going to start putting that in uh, my Vampire and life gain decks and stuff now. And so I'm, I'm excited to try out this Barkhide Troll, see how it goes, see if I see if it's really impressive. <clears throat> so, of course, you know, it's a it's just a three, three. It's a two mana, three, three that you can remove the, a one, one counter from it to give it hex proof. And whenever you're able to add 1-1 one, one counters to, to it with, like, Vivian Arcbow Ranger here, maybe you can continue to do that and just make it, like, a, a perpetually hexproof creature. And that could be pretty uh, pretty interesting to try out. But, yeah, we got our Wolf Synergies here with the Tulsimers also. Um, so yeah, this one looks pretty good. Let's, let's see how it does. And hopefully it does better than our other decks today. We, we've been playing some sweet decks today, but just haven't picked up the wins as much let's go with vivian tribal here with selesnia stompy <laughs> yeah i still gotta try burning prophet yeah still gotta try burning prophet Haven't found a lucky cat color today. Maybe green. Maybe green's our cat color. Man, if we just had two lands, take out any any card in our in our hand for a land, and this would be such a, a fast keep. Literally any of them. Just give me a forest over any of these cards. Burning Prophet and Search for Ascanta. Okay.
Well, Harpooner does kill... It could kill Feather later when we have creatures in the graveyard. We, just, we don't have creatures in the graveyard, though. So let's, let's just go ahead and play it out, because we're going to be tapping out for a while. Hopefully. How this thing goes is up to you. Starting over is the only way. Our poor Knight of Autumn. You know, since we had to moldify, we had to put Knight of Autumn to the bottom. This would have been a really good time to have the Knight of Autumn. All right. Let's do this. Yeah, again. Clem, I, I have a Marty deck with Kalia that I'm going to be playing tomorrow. Wow, Settle is so perfect here. We just need a land. That's such a great card to have, though. No, we've been playing... No, we haven't been winning a ton today, but we've been playing a lot of very good games. It's not always about wins and losses. Yep, Spellbreaker stops, settle. Feather's really good. I don't think there's a an archetype that I have a worse record against just in like general of like the decks that I, like whenever I'm just playing decks. I don't I don't think there's anything that I have a worse record against than Feather since, since M20 has come out. I basically always lose to the Feather decks. Kind of no matter what I'm playing. We have some good sorcery speed removal here. Hope it works out. Yeah, God's Willing is pretty good. And they always seem to have like multiple, multiple feathers. Just going down so many creatures. This Champion of Wilds is just going to miss so much.
All right, let's see how this does. Not super confident. We're going to give it a good try. Our main creature is Steel Leaf Champion and Nipak Ambusher. Unfortunately, don't line up well against Reckless Rage. Them all being for toughness. So like if they if they have Reckless Rage, they just destroy us. Love that settle. I don't really want to play another Steel Leaf because of Reckless Rage. I don't want them to, like, kill one Steel Leaf, then attack with Arcanist, and then kill the other one kind of thing. Or do that. Same thing. Would have been able to kill both of them. Get these things out of here. So he told y'all no, nobody's gonna play around settle. Just for that first time. Um. Yeah, maybe bricks. Maybe like a. I would re I would go with like a Gruel Aggro with a lot of Veil of Summers in the sideboard, but then also like with Planeswalkers that give you advantage and stuff like that, or like a, a Gruel deck. If you're trying to beat an, an Esper Control person with a lot of counter spells, I think Veil of Summer is where you want to be. Uh, and then you know you can have like like Gruel can have like an anti counter spell deck you know you have shifting ceratops carnage tyrant rhythm of the wild little domri makes your creatures uncounterable you have a lot of good cards like that with the arc bow at my side i can't lose a fight <laughs> paul Stop with that resub time. 9 months already Thank you, Paul. Thanks for the resub. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Ah, I've endured worse. Oh, wait, they didn't go salmon sprint? Oh, I thought they were just gonna salmon sprint and kill that. Oh, they didn't go salmon sprint. Wow. Oh wait, I can't minus Vivian anymore. Darn it. Hmm. This will be fun to watch. So yeah, until until they had this other feather, my my plan like my last turn when I played the Vivian, my plan was to like to put some counters on this druid and keep and do that for like a couple of turns, like while this druid had hexproof and make it like a big creature while they couldn't touch it. But obviously, them drawing the feather just made me reevaluate.
time to disappear into the brush. Just can't kill this thing. No, we can't kill it now. Harpooner doesn't kill Feather. They have Reckless Rage. Multiple reasons. One, they have Reckless Rage that could kill my Harpooner in response. Two, they could also use Samet Sprint to make their Feather bigger. So there's two cards in their hand, both reasons why the Harpooner would not kill the Feather. Cards just so messed up. We just have infinite removal. Infinite removal, pump spells, and card draw. Like how how am I supposed to beat that? So, like, we have, you know, like, we sideboarded in three Baffling End, two Devout Decree. It's so like, we, we brought in five removal spells that will deal with the Feather, assuming that they don't have a protection spell, which is a horrible assumption, considering all of the scry and draw. They always draw multiple Feathers. You always get rid of one, and they always have a back, like... <laughs> Never play against this deck and they don't have two feathers. It just doesn't happen. This doesn't, yeah. My pack doesn't really have them burn spells. I really wish this auto passing thing worked. Like, there's a reason why I'm just saying auto-pass. Like, I just wanted to F6 the turn, not, oh, hey, you play another thing. Now, do you want to click resolve? Like, yes, this, that's what I, I have here. I want this all to resolve. I don't want to have to click keeping, or keep, have to keep clicking resolve. Yes, resolve these things. It's, like, so annoying that I just want to concede because <laughs> that's so annoying to just keep on clicking every single little thing. Hey, Butters. Thanks for the resub there for seven whole months. You are awesome. Thank you so much there, Butters. Oh, my God. Hey, Nimbus. I'm going home.
It's really hard to beat Feather with these creature decks. Especially when they always have multiple Feathers. You get rid of one and they just have another. So hard. Hey, Gunner. GG's. Let's talk about how I just never... I never beat Feather with anything I ever play. Never do. Oh, I know. I know. You're, you're good, Gunner. Well, this is an awesome, awesome hand for us. Wild animals I like. Taking up Vivian because of shock, but obviously if they had shock, they probably would have shocked the land war elf. So if we would have played a night pack ambusher, it was immediately dead. The last game. There wasn't really reason for us to play it. You fight like a city brat. than having a plan basically anything don't worry i brought company hmm that's gonna kill the vivian uh, I'm not i could cast settle here to keep the vivian alive but that's not really worth it i'm gonna just get this ambusher out and kill the chandra you'll see Consider this bridge burned. Uh, yeah, Tithe Taker is a is a tax spell. There's there's definitely other ones too, but Tithe Taker is the other like good quality one. All right, turns out turn three Night Pack Ambusher, followed by turn four Night Pack Ambusher. Quite good. All right, well, I like the cards that we got here. I like these Knight of Autumns and stuff. I'm not sure if we really want Baffling End, to be honest. I think even though Vivian destroys enchantments, we have the Knight of Autumns and the Devout Decrees could get rid of the enchantments also. I'm going to kind of trim back on some of them. I'd like, yeah, I'm bringing in Lyra's. I, I can't have just all five drops, so cutting that big Vivian. Um... We getting rid of Harpooner, Pup Collector. No, I like Pup Collector. I think Harpooner and Barkhide Troll are our weakest cards. And I suppose the Troll is better than the Harpooner, so we'll go with that. Another really good hand. So we need we need to be on our our last on some of the last legs here. The loss that's what we needed. Now we're getting our good hands. So we'd like to find Devout Decree or Knight of Autumn. Well, Spitfire is scary. We'll certainly just hold up Settle 
here or ambusher. Chandra, you need more control. Go get him, buddies. I just can't take that damage. I would like to be able to play Ambusher and be able to attack the Chandra and kill the Chandra and settle the next turn, but we just we just can't we can't take all that damage. All right, yeah, we'll see, King J. We'll see. How's how's the uh, the sailor doing for you? Your spectral sailor. How's that going for you? Like, how's how's the deck treating you? So they can recast Shock from the Graveyard with Chandra, but that does cost two loyalty, which is the exact number of loyalty that Chandra has. Yeah, that makes sense. Command the Dreadhorde to the side. All right, I like that. Remember this one? All right, we're certainly looking good here. Considering just taking this, so that's what I was thinking about. Thinking about just taking this, going to end step before playing Ambusher to make sure Ambusher doesn't die to like another coil. But it's not likely that they have a coil since they went Chandra minus on the coil. They would have just cast another one from hand, I would assume. This, of course, does put the little down to three, though. Ah, fight with fire. They were probably holding that. They wanted to hold that to see if they got to nine mana. But yeah, we we should have this just fine. Did a really good job of drawing Nightpack Ambushers. Darn fight with fire. All right, well, we had two really, really good hands there. Let's see if that keeps it up. Keep having hands just like that. With land war elf, with, you know, good amount of lands, land war elf, night pack ambushers. Awesome hands. GG's, Boulder. Our hands were just incredible. That match. Couldn't really ask for better ones. Hmm. 
So I love love turn one land war elf. And I like Vivian too. I think we're gonna keep this. Um like we're on the draw, like we we should be drawing other things to fill the curve. If we get behind, we have the settle. Settle is usually good against basic planes. Almost always. Impassioned Orator. Orator? Orator? Oh, I was just going to say, this, this is probably a Pride Mate life gain deck. And then there comes the Pride Mate. Cool. It's honestly, like, Impassioned Orator is really not a bad card. Especially with Pride Maiden with the Vampire. It's honestly a pretty sweet combination our opponent's got going on over there. So we could play Vivian, but Vivian would be... Uh, wouldn't wouldn't have any anything to block for it. It would just take the six damage. Vivian would just die. So let's just get the Pelt Collector in here first and see what happens. No blocks. Ow. Orator. Orator. So we should be able to get the Pride Mate and the Angel here. May help them out though. They didn't play a land last turn, right? Or no? I was on. Was I on the play? No, I don't think I was on the play. I think they missed the land drop. Yeah, because they went turn two, turn three, turn four. Yeah. So we'll see if the extra two lands help them out. But now we got Vivian. Life is good. Oh, you're going with, with uh, Gideon's company also? Building the deck with all three of them? Nice. Time to look for some wolves. Would you like meet my newest friend? That looks like a wolf. Basically a wolf. Scary enough. Ferocious pup. We need some ferocious pups in here. Some ferocious pup beat down. I like it. Don't mind trading the Paradise Druid for the trick. Now we're going to have better creatures that we would prefer not to get tricked. Yeah, I'm expecting some Wolf Tribal in the next set too. Come to me. You know, all we know about like the the next set is it's a lot of like fairy tale type stuff. I could see some wolves, like real little red riding hood type wolves in the set.
If our opponent has the new Ajani, we could honestly be in trouble. Well, they would have they would have certainly played it before Healer Talk, but Ow. So that's why you, there's the other bone splinters is just better. You could just pay four mana. Balance comes. They wouldn't have had to sacrifice their creature. I don't remember its name. It's just like a strictly better bone splinters than standard. Spark Harvest. There you go. You got it, Moxie. That's it. Spark, Har Spark Harvest. Spark Harvest also kills Planeswalkers. So they could have just killed my Vivian. So not attacking to just make sure we have everything back for this Vivian. I guess I've read this card before because it's in War of the Sparks, so it would have been in my now set review. We're getting started. I've seen things I have no, recolle no recollection like of reading that card before. I was keeping the land in hand previously because of. Um, because of another Basilica Bell Hunt, they just play another Bell Hunt, and honestly, I should so I should still keep that land in hand because of Bell Hunt. Because I want to keep this because of Bloodthirsty Aerialist. So yeah, I should keep the land because of Bell Hunt. I just kind of accidentally played it. Child of Night. I forgot that was in standard. Child of Night's always in standard. No one knows the wilds like I do. So they can't double block Steel Leaf Champion. They're just jumping it. This one's over. Yeah, basically, Jay. The wilds are my shield. We got our own game life lands. Cool. Sorn's cool. Fear those born of darkness. Bring back Bell Hunt. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't matter what they do. What if I attack my opponent with all this stuff and then I sell the wreckage me and just exile all these things? Would I could I still win? You belong to me now. Like let's say I did an emblem Vivian and I'd still use Vivian to tick out, could I still win? Yeah, I mean the answer is yes, but
Nah, I know, I know, I'm not gonna actually do that. That's just a waste of time. I was just in such a good position because of Vivian. I mean, Vivian got us there. Getting us all those cards. We didn't see anything for Night of Autumn to do, right? Like, if I take out Night of Autumns for... Ugh, a couple other random creatures. Oh, yeah, I should be playing Lyra instead of Carnage Tyrant. Yeah. Turn two Steel Leaf Champion. Nothing to sneeze at. <laughs> yeah, we got Vivian Tribal. Well, they were, they mulliganed down to four. Must not have still been good. Oh well, next match. Yeah, it's good, good learning experience to use with with, uh, with the gold early on. Yeah, you get the, you know, you get like a thousand gold every day. All right, let's draw a Vivian in our Vivian Tribal deck. Vivian. Vivian. I'll take any of the Vivians. They're all good. Dinosaurs. Hmm. I wonder if this card's gonna be good against dinosaurs. I don't really think there's any reason not to play the Harpooner. I don't think they're going to be playing any Flyers. Yeah, yeah nobody plays around Settler Record right now. Alright, so this looks like just typical old Jun Dinos. They're playing the Unclaimed Territory. I should be attacking there. I misclicked. I meant to, to click the next, but I accidentally clicked this one, the past this past turn instead of like the next.
That's what I meant to do last turn. So they cast Commune and they took Galta, yet they don't have any lands or not playing anything. Vivian finding Nightpack Ambusher is so nice. <laughs> Double flash. Triple double flash. Ha, you call it anarchy. For me, it's just another day. We are the many. Your favorite combo in the game is Marauding Raptor into Otepic Hunt Master Concede. All right, let's go Decree, Baffling End. Night of Autumn's really not that bad, just being a 4-3. Tulsmer's too small. I can't trim down on creatures too much. Hmm. That's kind of the tough part about playing all these baffling ends and devout decrees. Get rid of one ranger and maybe not play the baffling end. I want the baffling ends to take out the 7 6 dino. But I guess I got devout decrees for that. I mean, Ceratops instead of a Knight of Autumn. No, I like Steel Leaf Champion. That, that one's pretty. That one's pretty good. Yeah, let's get Tristan in here too. Oh, get this card in here. Oh, but they play Collision Colossus. Ugh. Oh well. Hey, that is awesome! A play Chalice of the Void? You got one for only 15 bucks? That's a great deal. That's a great deal. See, going to LGS's pays off. Case in point, right there. Dude, yeah, that is awesome. Love it. You call us Barry Allen. With this hand. Even better. Even better. I've 
lost so much already. I won't lose more. <laughs> Wait, you think nature is kind? <laughs> Man, this hand is so mean. Ugh. Speaking of mean. That's also mean. I'm a survivor. You can still walk away. If only we didn't have Blossoming Sands, I would be chump blocking with the Llanowar Elf here, but I don't know if I can afford to chump block with the Llanowar Elf because we may not have four mana next turn. So I have to like wait a turn before I can chump block with it, which means that my Vivian dies. Which is really sad. Play this thing. Block this drover. Down, 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 down. So yeah, they could have like collision colossus. Flame sweep. Well, that's more annoying. Uh, that goes there goes my lane world. That's definitely more annoying. Yeah, start discarding these cards. Get them out of here. Yes, the safest way to untap with Ambusher is to wait until end step. But with them discarding cards with Reggie, I wanted to try to eat the Drover of the Mighty. Make it hard to cast other stuff with them having to discard cards here. You know if they're going to try to employ the block and shock strategy there to kill my four toughness creature, we could uh, flash in the ambusher to make it five. So we so it's a pretty safe attack there. We don't have to worry about the block and shock. The classic strategy that is. Let's sit back and play some defense. <clears throat> I don't want like a Colossus to mess us up. All right. Three and one. <clears throat> yeah, I cared about having that four, four creature more than the seven life. Keep having those hands. Turn one, Llanowar Elf. Turn two, Vivian. Turn three, four, five, all Night Pack Ambushers. Turn six, pass the turn, opponent concedes. We didn't even get to settle the wreckage, our Dino opponent. So they conceded too fast game one when we had it, and we didn't see it game two. 
Oh, it should be really good. Against the vampire opponent as well. Yeah, I got a slow hand here. Basically with the Bark Hide Troll to start with. No turn three Soren. No. Boo. Depart Innistrad immediately. Or you with the blood that calls to your soul. Yeah. So obviously by putting the counter on this creature and then attacking my opponent's willing to trade. Because it does give life links, you gain three life either way. Either Yeah, they're gaining three life either way. Because I was gonna say, like they like they might as well just sacrifice their vamp, you know. Tick up one, sacrifice the vampire, do three to the three three, and gain three life. And then that that doesn't, you know, give me the choice to take it, and then still have like that three three, and then I use like, I don't know, a giant growth or whatever, and kill the Soren. Hmm. Well, settles not as good when they have legions landing. Give them a lot of mana, but be able to make a bunch of big creatures. If we had more life, we would be able to win this, but we don't have more life. The Soren is just really close to killing us. And just make vampires and sacrifice them and do three damage to us with the Soren. We're down to four. Yeah, 
Yeah, if we, I mean, if we trample into Soren, they just don't have to, they just don't block, and then they just attack and kill us. So we can't, we can't just do both trample, attack Soren. The only way we win this... The only way we win this if we do this and they don't block. Like, the only way we can stabilize is if we do this and they don't block. But they blocked. That's the only way we could stabilize is if if we got to do four damage there and then play. Because like we're just one point off, right? Like if I go Arcbow Ranger kill the one one, we only have seven damage because it's eight loyalty. It was just one. We were one point off. You know, we could kill the blocker. That was just really awkward. No, well, if they didn't block, I was going to kill the Soren. The the Arcbow Ranger was going to do 40 damage. Like, the Soren was dead if they didn't block. That's why I need them to not, not dead, did not die. Oh, that is, that is true with the am Ambusher Pump. No, you're right. That was the line. You're you're right, Pottinger. That was the line. So I should have attacked with both. And then if they if they do block, their creature is gone. And then I go Vivian minus. But if they don't block, I was thinking I didn't have enough if they don't block. But that's right. We had the ambusher that could have played the ambusher. Pump them, and then the ambusher would have blocked the one one on the way back. All right. Anyway, I gotta let's see. We got a sideboard. 30 seconds. All right, let's try this. I don't know if I sideboard perfectly, but gotta get stuff out of here. Yeah, if I would've settled that first chance. Yeah, it's possible I waited a turn too long for the settle. I wanted to I wanted to be able to have like the wolves be able to pressure the Soren, right? Because like that's the reason why I didn't settle immediately is because of the Soren. Like me needing to attack Soren specifically. But with them like the that Legion's landing was a killer. Like the Legion's landing you know, was the was the, the card that really hurt us, because then they got to be able to like make the chump blockers for Soren. And, you know, obviously just keep getting more creatures that that Legion's Landing was a, a real killer. They just had like two other one drops. Yeah, Brick, yeah, we're playing in an event where either either win five or lose two. We're playing the traditional constructed queue. So whichever one of those happens first.
is it worth it blocking the knight like this where you know they can pay three mana and kill my knight of autumn that cost them three mana i think so just slows them down a lot just takes up their turn See if you're worthy. There is wonder in a blade of grass. So the one problem with blocking with the Paradise Druid is it does take out our second white source. Puppies whine less than you. Hey, Rex, good afternoon. are lessons written in skin. Hopefully another ambusher. All things begin and end in nature. Hmm. Honestly, not sure if I'm supposed to be going with the baffling end here. Oh, I would, I would not baffling end a Danto Vanguard. No, Knight of the Ebon Legion is the card that would be we'd be baffling ending. Knight of the Evil Legion is such a better card than Adanta Vanguard. I like not. It's not close. Alright, drew something to do. Let's do it. Well, they don't they don't have Soren. So it's a <clears throat> it's a lot easier to block Vanguard still. Let's play this thing. If their last card is removal again, I'd rather them use removal on Tulsimer. Here than Night Pack Ambusher.
Yep, use up those mortifies. But the thing is, is like that. The Knight of the Ebon Legion was just a, a huge creature, though. Basically, would never be able to block that thing. Nope, Benelli is fine. Yep, we're good there. We can't really block with the Paradise Druid. We still haven't drawn another white source, and so we, we could just draw a Lyra or a Settle, even though we saw one Settle down here. Oh. Tulsimer does that? That's insane. I've never had Tulsimer out whenever I've actually played a wolf before. <laughs> I forgot it. I, I didn't really... Like... Yeah. Never mind. Tulsimer is insane. I've never had that combo actually be able to do that before. I put them both in the same deck, like in the Arcbow deck also had four and two just like this and just never had Tulsmer in play. Let's get another Knight of Autumn on the draw, especially seeing History of Benalia. I'm going to take out an Arcbow Ranger. Seeing History of Benalia. Yeah, there's two ways to get XP. There's, you get um, XP for every single win that you get uh, up to 15 in a week. So that resets every Sunday. And then you win 15 games and you get XP for each game. And then that resets every Sunday. So that's one way. And then second way is the daily quest. Just keep doing your daily quest. You get... XP, you get 500 XP every day for the daily quest, and you get 250 XP for the the weekly for the wins for the weekly wins. Um, and then a th there's a third way to get XP, and that's through special events that they will have periodically, but that's not all the time. But it looks like the beginning of the next month they're going to have some of the special events starting. I count to nothing beyond my own obligations. I join my crusade. Summer breeze. fight anyway. There's usually people in here from Canada. I don't know if anybody's in here now. Like Zerf is a Canadian who's usually in the chat. Ugh. Mr. Goldark. There's a Canadian. That's a pretty sweet looking token right there. Uh. 
Oh, I wish I knew that we had a land. I kind of want to block this Legion's Lieutenant. I just can't, though. Honestly, I should be playing Tulsimer here, honestly. I was just kind of focused on Settle, but that, that should be Tulsimer. Well, they likely have removal. I, th I thought it's like, you know, so they just played the Aspirant. They kept two cards in hand. I thought that it was likely that the two cards in hand were removal. So maybe we don't play Tulsimer because of removal. Good draw. So it certainly seems like no removal here. All right, so yeah, we, we can definitely assume that they, they do not have a removal spell. So I guess I should just do the Tulsimer so we start gaining a whole lot of life and everything, and I can just kill this flyer. Tulsimer does not have flash. It d this doesn't give like your other wolves flash, unfortunately. So yeah, we need to just kill this token. Wow. They did have removal. Well, if they just mortify Tulsimer... So, they mortified the wrong thing. Like, whenever the Tulsimer enters, they should be mortifying the Tulsimer. I still get the, the token. The wolf token. But the wolf token, I don't gain three life. And the wolf token doesn't fight the Aspirant. But now I have Tulsimer and, and Ambusher, so now all these wolves, I'll gain three life and be able to fight. They they mortified the wrong thing. Oh, that is a very, very fortunate draw for our opponent. Ugh. We need them to not draw removal for a turn, but nope, that, that kills Tulsimer. Mm. That's very fortunate. Hey, Rockwell Guru. Night's been good. Even though we haven't had a very good record today. But we've played a lot of good games of Magic. A lot of close games and everything. And so that was really unfortunate for us, that draw. For them. Really hurt us. Yeah, I mean, this Devout Decree can kill Soren. Vivian can kill Soren. Yeah, like, we can, we can kill Soren. And in fact, I think we do Decree Exile Soren, and then Vivian shoot down this Aspirant in the air. These childish games bore me. Civilization has crept too far. Tear it down. This game was certainly over if my opponent did not top deck a removal spell for Tulsimer. This game was very over. But we still got Settle. We're going to be able to put get some good defense here. They can kill Vivian. Ooh, they're not killing Vivian. That's big. Um, We're fit enough to survive. Yeah, Soren top deck is our worst is our worst nightmare. 
Sorens, Othokayas, things like that that just burn us out. That's a great draw. That's a good draw. Gain that life. Let's get a counter on this Tulsimer. So it doesn't die to Soren tick up. Man, Tulsimer with Nightpack Ambusher is actually really, really sweet. That's even better than I imagined with every wolf giving you that lifelink. Wow, this is a really cool interaction here. All right, I'm gonna have to maybe get some more Tulsimers in some decks. Okay, four and one. Y'all know what that means. We got to the final boss. Fourth deck of the night after starting with a loss. But here we are, we're on a four match win streak. You gotta get those wolf pups. Maybe I need three Tulsimers in, in my Bant Arkbow deck to go with these. To go with uh, Nightpack Ambushers. That's a sweet interaction. I demand more Tulsimer. Wolf pup. Wolf pup's cool. This is the last deck for today, for tonight, Brick Even. But I'll be back tomorrow with four other sweet decks. Played four decks, four decks every day, starting at 3 Eastern. Got some good ones for tomorrow. We're going to be playing Mardu Kalia. We're going to be playing the Azorius Flyers we didn't get to the other day. Um, what else do I have for tomorrow? Sultai Flash. Basically blue-green flash, but with Dire Fleet Poisoner and black removal spells. Bow, bow. Just guy felt pretty good. It was a difficult deck to play. We played a lot of really long games. That's why we only played the three there even in ranked instead of five because the games were really, really long. And it was a pretty fun deck to play. Teamer Golos. Zenith. Recognize Zenith's name. Pretty sure this is a subscriber to the channel. Speaking of battling subscribers, if y'all don't, if y'all don't know, Saturday is the la this upcoming Saturday is the last Saturday of the month. That means it is going to be sub battle Saturday. So I'll be playing against subscribers all day on Saturday. So if you're a subscriber, make sure you're there. Bring bring your sweet deck. I'll I'll have a, a wheel that I will be spinning. I'll be spinning the wheel to to find out like what decks I'm playing and everything. It's It's a good time. Wolf Tribal yeah, that one looks kind of... That looks pretty cool, crazy dude. Or that's Parappa. Yeah, that looks like a pretty sweet one. Fight. It's 
Now we end up get a wolf that automatically fights and we gain life. <laughs> yeah, I think it, yeah. I think I already said that, Matthew, but it is a comma in there. Hmm. Yeah, like we could, so we could pass, we get, what, well, we get a 4-4. Four, four. Other options play Pelt Collector and then Arc Bow Ranger. Eh, we should just pass. Wait, why is this thing not a 4-4? Four, four? Oh, right, right, it's a 2-2, two, two. right, 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 okay, yeah, this this thing makes 3-3 three, three wolves, this one makes 2-2 two, two wolves, right, so it's just a 3-3. Three, three. Huh. All right. Well, let's see, get this Tristani in here, because if they steal in our stuff, I want it back. Don't need Knight of Autumn. Don't really need a Harpooner or Bark Hydroll, honestly, either. But if we take all those things out, how many creatures are we at? We're at 20? Ugh, that's really not very many creatures. I mean, we could Ceratops it up. I don't know if I love Ceratops. Like, they're going to have, like, Ripjaw Raptor and Cavalier Thorns. Ceratops is... Kind of the same with Steel Leaf, though. They do not just match up against those things. So, yeah. I, yeah, we got five more cards to go. So, we can go, like, Baffling End, Veil of Summers. And go with this. That's not... Like, we're going to be whiffing on this Vivian's Minus a good amount. But, oh, well. This Vivian's all about giving our creatures Flash, anyway. You think Ceratops is good? Doesn't get through Cavalier Thorns. Like, is is that Ceratops better than Baffling End Veil of Summer? <laughs> no, let's just go with this. Swap Viv for a Ceratops. I do like... I like how Viv... I like how this Viv kills Krasis. Harpooner doesn't really kill Krasis. That one does kill Krasis. And helps... Really dig towards the ambushers. I like that big Viv. The four mana Vivian. I could take out the three mana Vivian. I would rather have Lyra, I think, than than Ceratops. I think I think Lyra is probably a better card. Maybe I could take out a three mana Vivian. I like four mana Vivian. Its ability to help us kill Nissa. Basically, Cavalier Thorns, Nissa, and Hydroid Krasis. Those are going to be difficult cards to deal with. We gotta be faster than that. Uh, well, I guess we're keeping. I like, yeah, I like Pelt Collector. But Pelt, Pelt's just so cheap. I like Pelt Collector. Can't have everything expensive. <laughs> I'm sorry, girl. Girl saying, I get this terrible feeling when I watch Todd Stevens that I'm going to be back down to zero rare wild cards. Just like a nagging feeling. Whoops. Do you think that Morphling's all creature types would be too strong for standard? No, of course not. No. Bleh. 
They just have to be in a spot where they want to be doing that. Behold, nature's true power. Like where it makes sense for them to like story wise and everything. Uh, that's so messed up. Turn four, play Nissa and Cavalier of Thorns. That's so messed up. We just gotta hope they don't have Krasis. Like, as long as they don't have Krasis, like, the double settle can get them. The land fights for us. Obviously they have Krasis. Why would they not have Krasis? Well, they just milled one over. They obviously have another one. Why would they not? I mean, it... I mean, I'm... I'm effectively dead. Yeah, I mean we can we can settle them twice and it's not gonna matter. Well, I mean we're gonna play it out though. Maybe maybe it will. We'll play it out. I guess they're gonna get all their lands from their deck anyway. Um, I'm not a I'm not a very big fan of Justicer's Portal. I don't think it's Rise, my elemental friend. worth it. Well, it's a good thing that we kind of played it out a little bit. Now we know that I now I know I I definitely need Night of Autumn. You know, not only Leyline but also they're playing Immortal Sun. So we know we know Night of Autumn's good. Counter spell. I mean, they, they still have infinite mana with this Nyssa. It's like, it's, it's perfectly fine playing Nyssa and Immortal Sun together. No, it, attacking attacking the Nyssa didn't make a lot of sense because they have a 5-4 that this Nightpack Ambusher would have been a 5-5. Five, five. Like this one would like we could have attacked with the one token that would have been a four four, but then you know I'm playing that main phase instead of getting like this extra value of getting the the token anyway. Yeah, three attackers. So, what you want me to attack with all three creatures? You want me to trade my Nightpack Ambusher for their Paradise Druid and then do six damage to the Nissa? That doesn't even kill the Nissa. Like, what's the point of that? Would have dealt six damage.
Yeah, and I'm saying attacking and playing second alpha was not a good play. If I would have attacked and played second alpha, we were taking lethal there. Like, we were actually dead if I would have just attacked, if I would have done the attack and play the alpha main phase. We would have had one blocker. We were, like, because like, they would have been able to attack, like, they could attack this thing, too. We were, we were just dead if we would have done that. No, we are not going to be able to mill our opponent, I don't think. No, they're at 30 cards. No, that's not really an option. Well, if they keep playing a whole bunch of Cavalier Thorns, maybe we can mill them. Good. Get rid of another Krasis. Every creature is lethal. You have to block every single one of them. So we're going to need to bring in Knight of Autumns for game three, especially this ley line of abundance. Can't, this ley line is just destroying me. Like, if all these, like, you know, if they didn't have the ley line, and if these land, like, if these are just 1-1s, one -ones, and that's just 2-1, and that's just a 5-6, like, honestly, we would we would be just fine, even with the, the Immortal Sun and them drawing multiple cards a turn. You know, like, we wouldn't have chump locked with so many elves and everything. But we're not beating this Leyline of Abundance. And infinite mana. Like, all these creatures. Like, even that Paradise Druid is lethal. Like this 5-4. I have enough to pump it a bunch. Alright. Knight, get back in here. So we did see over half, you know, we we did see a, a lot of their deck, and we didn't see any we haven't seen any mass manipulations or melodies, and we saw a lot of their deck there. I think we can take out the Veil of Summers. Dawnbringer in the air, but Dawnbringer still doesn't doesn't get through. Cavalier Thorn still. Oh, Pell Collector's good. It's gonna be like a one mana four four or five five. That's one mana. We need to trim on all these five mana cards, so we need to trim. Maybe we don't need Tristani if they are. They don't have mass manipulation.
Certainly hoping they don't have mass manipulation. Saw around, you know, like 37-ish of their cards. That is, you know, Frost Thief, I, I didn't, I didn't really think about how shifting Ceratops actually blocks Krasis. I guess it doesn't really with Trample, but yeah, you, you do give it reach. Didn't, didn't consider that to be honest, but I guess with, with Trample, like it, it does, Krasis still does Trample over it. more reliable than human tear it down tear it all down So I could kill it. I could play this Vivian and kill the Krasis. Hey, Jeff. That's not a very good play against Nessa, though. Have you ever lost a home? We're gonna just play the the Steel Leaf Champion. Obvi of course I know that we can play the creatures instant speed, but I'm playing um, Steel Leaf Champion right now so I can give it vigil so I can give it reach. Are you serious? Are you serious? They just suddenly have Entrancing Melody now? After I sideboarded completely like they don't have those cards? Come on. So it's going to be like that, huh? You have got to be kidding me. Let me show you what was lost. Yeah, that makes my whole cyborg plan kind of obsolete. From the smallest ant to the largest hydra, nature is beautiful. I'd get out of the way if I were you. Yeah, we saw so much of their deck and no no melodies, no manipulations, nothing. And so thinking, okay, maybe they don't have those. Let's take out our, our stuff against those. And nope, they had them. Yep, we were conned. I went with the long con.
The mysteries of life are endless. We're fit enough to survive. We certainly can't handle another melody. I guess we can. Kind of. We can ish. We can use Arcbow Ranger to go grab Tristani from the sideboard. Harness the elements. On draw land. Every defeat is a new beginning. Yay. Multiverse thrives with wonderful creatures. I cannot protect you anymore. Anger only gets me so far. So what do they want to get back? Like if they if we kill Cavalier Thorns, what do they do? They just grab an, another Cavalier Thorns to put on top. wasn't meant to be contained more cards you can't stop nature Ugh, good value pop collector like a way to exile this crisis, do I? Whoa, they picked it up. We got the win. That was a very, very good match. All right, we got the five win, the five one. That was coming in clutch. We lost our first one, fought back. 
Got the five wins. So Lesnia Stompy. That was an awesome league. This is a fun one. All right, so Nightpack Ambusher was awesome. Nightpack Ambusher with Settle was very good. Settle was awesome. I don't know about awesome. It was good. Um, the Tulsimer interaction with Ambusher is really, really cool. That is that is definitely really cool. I'm gonna have to get some. I'm probably gonna need to put like a third Tulsimer in my in the Ban Arcbo deck. Cause I forgot it's whenever any wolf enters, you gain three life, and then you can also have that wolf fight. So every wolf you get with Ambusher, gain three gain three life for each one. Um, Vivian Vivian of course very good giving our creatures flash. Um. The Steel Leaf Champion wasn't spectacular, but it was all right. It did its job. This Vivian was good. Harpooner was okay. Barkhold tried okay. Bark Hide Troll okay. Didn't really do hardly anything with either card. They were both okay. Um, not sure if Growth Chamber Guardian would have been better. Growth Chamber Guardian, not sure. Um... Yeah, could maybe have like another Tulsimer in the sideboard here. That's like the the one weakness with this with these decks is like the the two mana slot with the creatures. Wish it could be better. Honestly, honestly, probably Tithe Taker. Honestly, Tithe Taker is probably just better than like Harpooner and Bark Hide Troll. It, you know, Tithe Taker is of course white but we have a lot of white sources but honestly this is probably just a better a better card in general there's you know like all these instant speed decks like just taxing all the instant speed decks i'm i'm actually kind of coming around on tight taker these days thorn lieutenant yeah thorn lieutenant's another option also um uh, the troll was fine I don't know if we're white enough for Tamik. Um, Thorn Lieutenant's, of course, another option there. Uh, Galta sideboard. I don't hate it against like non like decks with, without much removal. I, I don't mind a Galta. We do want like as many creatures as we can in the sideboard because of these Vivians. Like these Vivians really, really reward you for playing creatures. And especially having a, a wide variety of creatures in the sideboard that you can grab even with this Vivian's minus five. Yeah, the the troll's probably pretty good. Yeah. I could see troll being better than than Tithe Taker. Maybe two troll, two tithe breaker, or maybe you just go all troll. Oh, like the harpooner wasn't really that that impressive. Maybe I think I like troll more than harpooner. I, I did like troll. Like two mana three threes, kinda nice. I like that. Maybe maybe Troll's better than Growth Chamber Guardian? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if Growth Chamber Guardian or Troll's better. Honestly. <laughs> Never go. Uh, that's It's just a tough call. It's a tough call. Kind of per some personal preferences there. But pretty sweet deck here with Selesnya Stompy. I liked it. All right. If you're watching the video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it as well and if so don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there but thank you so much for watching some selesnia stompy and i will see you for the next video